Well, it looks like I've joined the Desire Grand Prix. What's good, YouTube land? Mm, look what I got here. The newest driver from the newest copyright show. It's the Desire Driver. From Common Rider Gates. Not, not this Gates. This one, this guy, who's uh, animal is a katune. Interesting. Go away, both of you, because the names Gates and Gates being not spelled the same isn't confusing enough. Anyway, yes. So let's take a look at the box. Here you go. Pictures of gates and toys. So many different functionalities. On the back, so much to do. So, what do you desire? Really? We're not going to do that? What do you desire? What is it you desire? Oh, now you cut me off. Thanks, Lucifer. Jesus with that guy. Anyway. Here's the toy itself. It's uh, it's a very simple driver, kind of specifically for a reason. It's kind of taking the idea of like the generic driver, like the idea of like Ryuki, where it was the buckles that made the driver unique, kind of giving that kind of vibe in a way that actually allows you to have a bit more gimmick than just that. Just the, the Ryuki with the one sound effect. Has a nice machine-y look to it with lots of detail. A little bit in the center, a little bit of white, a little bit of clear. Other way, the gray on the back. A lot more detail, including the battery pack right here, which contains, I believe, which takes three triple A's, and we have this button, which we'll get to. So, let's ride. I actually had to, <laughs> to tighten my belt extender recently, which was a nice surprise. Let's turn it on. The hold on. The on-off switch is right there. There. And to activate sounds, we need an ID core. So this is Gates. It's white and red to match his colors with his logo. And you just have to put it right here, right in the hole. Because all it needs to do is activate this button so that's a little bit of a long sound effect but if you couldn't re hear what she said properly she said entry because this creates the sort of black underseat which was referred to as the entry form but comment <laughs> comment below what you think she said i'll go first audrey okay. Speaking of entries, entry or <laughs> you enter there. You can also enter Sandman. And so, from what I understand, there are multiple, uh, at least multiple so far, being two different styles of gimmick items. So far, there's the tiny ones like this one, which is, I think, at this point, the only one I really wanted. So I'm glad they packaged it with the driver. This is the the uh, armed weapons. This is the hammer. And yes, it is pink. And that's why that's why I'm glad to have it. So you can just see what the gimmick toys are about. It's a 
very simple mechanism but it just goes back and forth because they're two different sides conveniently there are arrows telling you where how to put it in the driver and it's got the um, this system which Bandai uses a lot to read things so let's drop it off right on my foot ow that kind of stinged a little bit but let's let's hear tension So that's a basic sound, and you right away you get a final attack. Oh, and to disengage the still this uh, gray button on either side is the release mechanism. <laughs> so that's the first one. And basically, I haven't watched the show yet, but from what I understand, it's sort of like a, a battle royal where they're all fighting and one person gets their wish and sort of they get random power ups depending on how well they do. So it's like it's not like they have one standard power up they use the whole time. It's like they have ones that are more suited to their design, obviously, but like for very much seems like random. Random assortment. It's like, here's one for you to use at this point. Here's a hammer. Here's a boost. You want to fight. You beat some zombies. It disappears. You get another one the next time you have to fight. Um, you can also... Like, I just want to show this off. When you press the hammer up or down, it, it pushes in that little pin. And with this system, you can kind of cheat it a little bit. The ones I've gotten the most are, conveniently enough, Ryuki's V-Buckle. Also, if you go too fast, it... I don't know how long I'm going to try to get the V-Buckle sound. But... Damn it. It doesn't want to do it now that I'm on camera. Yeah. If you go too fast, you kind of miss it. So, you know... Yeah. I'll get it at some point. Other ones I've gotten are like the the Fies gear, the Zio driver, appropriately enough. Yeah. Come on! Dang it! I've gotten it. I swear. I'm not lying. See? There you go. <laughs> it finally worked. There you go. And I don't know if this is an undocumented feature, but if you remove the entry core and you put it back in, it actually remembers the last as long as you left the uh, item in, it resets. So that's the basic level. That's the little tiny weapons. You also have a subset of much bigger ones, and these are the these are the good ones. So this one is Magnum. Conveniently enough, the condom brand I would use if I ever needed to. <laughs> what I like about these are just, look at the freaking size of it. Like, here's the most recent gimmick toy. The the stamp, the V stamp. Like, look how big that is. Is also what she said the first time. Like, it's almost as big as the driver itself. And I know this is supposed to be like a... The barrel on like an old school six shooter but like 
does this remind anybody else of a rotary phone? Hello? Yes, Bandai HQ. What? Yes, I will go on hold. They put me on hold. But you can also press the trigger. Ultraman, Ultraman trigger. And just spin it freely. Which is fun. And you get boost. Which is metallic red. And has a very common writer axle like twisting feature by the way i guess side note who else is who's enjoying uh futo pi i've seen clips of it and it looks it looks very good i like the transformations giving sort of a more armored feel like equipping armor and probably the funniest moment of terui transforming into a bike and telling a a uh a woman to get on him <laughs> so we got those uh let's just do one damn it Henshin. Had to had to pull the pose. Had to do the pose, and obviously you get a uh, final attack. <laughs> also, I didn't I didn't highlight the nice gold on the ring. There's some nice bits of gray on the handle, and yeah. Look. Like, this is where the whole play pattern comes in. Because, like, you can make the driver look however you want. Because of the two blank slides. We can even do hammer and magnum. The ladies. It's hammer time. And so you get a different final attack announcement if you have two of them equipped. So it goes from a strike to a victory. And I guess we'll now come to this button. Which activates the rotation feature. So just press it. Or the revolve. And it doesn't change the sound. It's much more visual idea, like the armor flips from top to bottom. And that they one of, one of the clips I watched is he he literally he he does a revolve to get out of the way of a sniper shot. Like that that was pretty awesome. And just the way that, like, when they use items and things, like, appear, like, CGI items appear, that they actually, like, affect the area around them. It's a very nice touch. But you don't get anything different from this, so let's just move this. Go back. And that, that I also want to do a comparison, because that feature is very similar to the Zio driver, the Jikun driver. Convenient enough. Hello, Gates, again. Whoops. But, like, they both have spinning gimmicks. They both have the same pin system. Similar pin systems. Because they're not designed to be compatible with each other. Because every time... Like, they have this the same sort of hitting pins in a combination. But every single slot 
is different depending on what toys they want to use. So like you can just kind of see how they're similar but differently. Like I can't, like it doesn't fit all the way. Another example, a similar idea, full bottles with a low gimmick, but they don't fit. Excuse you. I was demonstrating something. So like they don't lock in, but also feels very similar to Astro switches because most of the weapons are just reuses of the Astro switch weapons. Like the hammer is very much not, but it's it's either X Aid's hammer or no, it's more like it's a Greedon's hammer, like a repainted Greedon hammer from Gaim. And like the shield and things very much look like Forze modular weapons. So there are also these ones that uh, have functionality with each other, so to speak. So let's do both. Oh, come on. Also, randomly, one time I got armed water out of this one. Just trying to. Kokokaraga highlight of that. Tension! Now, Boosted Magnum could be either be a condom commercial or a chocolate bar commercial. I can imagine the chocolate bar being like, have you enjoyed your boost but didn't think it was big enough? Get the new Magnum Boost. Available in convenience stores all over America. Or, or, uh, <laughs> or, no, no, an ED advert. That's it. Man, have you have, or do you have a hard time getting up? Try our new Magnum Boost. It'll get you there. <laughs> Those are terrible. Oh, God. Uh. Anyway, the Boost also has one unique feature, at least so far, of being able to activate a different final attack call if you rev it twice and then have to wait a second. You get it, a Grand Prix, a Grand Victory. And let's just do this because I can. Because this has been used as a form in the show. So if you do it just once. You can do that. And just to show everything off. And because uh, one of the one of the common rares, because there's like five or six off of episode one. Hilariously enough, they did a flashback where they had the actor who did uh, the Blue Ranger in in Kyoryuger, Kyoryu Blue, aka No No San, old man. They did a flashback just to specifically kill him off. It's a bit harsh, but. Oh, come on. Oh, I keep doing it at the wrong time. That's the thing.
and I believe one of the female commoners in the show used this form with boost like armed hammer as the legs and she essentially became Amy from Sonic where her hammer was like long uh, no was it um Scott Pilgrim's girlfriend with the rocket powered hammer oh no I'm I'm getting my <laughs> DDD King DDD had a rocket powered hammer that's probably what I'm thinking of but <laughs> so many references <laughs> to go through that one second anyway the the final attack is still the victory or the grand victory but if we do boost by itself it also can upgrade the strike if you do the same thing So yeah, put everything away, and overall, I think this set is worth it quite a bit, because you get probably the most gimmick toys I've ever seen come with a Kamen Rider belt. Normally, you're lucky to get one, and sometimes at most two. But we can Three, especially with like the way this functions, it gives you honestly a very high play value. Like you can mix and match your forms. They are releasing ones in this size. Like they already released the zombie with a separate ID core. They're doing. They're going to do more, obviously. So like, when you're going strictly value for money for. The, a, a common rider belt probably goes for around a hundred bucks loosely. I'd I'd say this is the best value for money because you're getting the most gimmicks, and like, again, these gimmicks are huge. Like, look how freaking big they are. And the the spinning feature and each one having a unique uh, motion, little play is fun. I really enjoy the revving of the engine. That's, if you can't tell, those are actually like exhaust pipes right there on either side. That's really cool. Like, sure, say what you want about this being very generic, and I get it. It might not be a, to everyone's taste, but like, you're not buying it for this. You're buying it for these because of how much they change the look of the belt. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to go in on the smaller ones. Really. Like, they're cute, they're nice, like the arrow and the water and the shield and all that, but like, the Legend Rider ones, I'm honestly less, even less enthused about because they're just a picture of the driver on a clear piece of plastic. I'm not sure what a police is. So, like, they're they're not really that inspiring to me. Like you just push down. And, like I can even fake the sounds from this. But I definitely want the zombie, probably the ninja. I definitely want to get the uh, the magnum weapon, which is a word I call my. D <laughs> but yes, I am thoroughly satisfied with this set. I think it's a very good set. Very much worth your money if you're a Kamen Rider fan looking to get into belts. So, um, that about does it. I'm trying to think of another joke. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Nah, keep it weird. I got like, uh, like a comedian at the end of a set. I'm struggling to think of more. Although, they probably never struggle to finish this out. They just get, they just bomb sometimes. Bye.